So obviously you were measuring UVIs in the wild. Um, what did you find they were basking at UVI wise in the wild? And then based upon that, what would you recommend in captivity? So um, I'll actually show you another graph. So this is the UV index. So for those listening that don't know what we're talking about when we say the UV index, so the UV index was a standard made um, to measure the amount, well, it was to put a value on the amount of uh, sunburn um, activity of the sun. And it actually closely correlates to the vitamin D production in the skin. So reptile keepers have adopted this to this UVI um, unit, ultraviolet index unit, to tell us the vitamin D producing power of a light that we're giving, a UV light we're giving to a reptile. Or we can go out and say, well, this is how much, you know, at UVI, two it's half as strong as uvi4 so um it's very useful we're very lucky that it can be used to tell us how well uh how the potential of a of a uv producing lamp is but what so what i did is um for i got my hands on a uv index meter the solar meter um 6.5 and i actually measured the UV index of every bearded dragon that we caught while I had this index meter. Um, in the end, I think it was about 112 data points on these dragons. So it's not a small number. And if you look at this graph, um, I haven't split it. This is over our whole three years. And if you look at the curve, it's time of day on the bottom and UV index on the vertical axis there. Uh, the axis there. So it pretty much follows the normal daily um, peak and drop of um, the sun. So obviously the sun's producing the UV. And what we found is, so even though there's dragons, they've got, you know, they were out, and most of these dragons up here were out at greater than 10, some of these ones at the top. Um, and then if we look down to the right, right at the bottom, um, this is after dusk. Um, so, you know, UV index was close to zero. But if we look at all the data points and we averaged it out, um, we actually can correlate. So if you do... Um, the statistics on it, when you get all the animals and average it out, uh, we got an average of about 4.1. So this is what the average dragon would need um, to produce appropriate levels of vitamin D for them to be exposed at a UV index of 4.1. Um, if we look at, as I said before, we had gravid females. They were out basking after dusk. dusk. So the data is skewed there to go towards, you know, a lower UV index. Um, but on average, our animals are, uh, were using 4.1 as a UV index. And this is something that we can use inside the enclosure where the basking spot is. Um, because at, we know at 4.1, uh, UV index of 4.1, the average dragon is producing um, the same as it would as if it's out in the wild. It would be exposing itself on average to an UV index of 4.1 while basking. So that's how we can correlate and adapt it to our um, husbandry and captive care is providing them with that 4.1. We, and we have, I have no doubt it, that UV index that they could produce an adequate level of vitamin D for them to thrive into a captivity. The clip you've just watched is just a snippet of a larger podcast episode where we had Beardivet on the podcast. If you want to find the full podcast episode, you can find that up here.
Or if you want to carry on looking through the Beauty That Explained series, you can find the rest of it down here.